Now, uh, like I said, I've mentioned a few times, Abby is sort of anticipating where we're going now. If all of these are a translation horizontally, then what happens if we actually um, have something more like this? Have a look at what I've, I've put in here, and I'm gonna start with the parabola, you'll see why in a second. I put a plus A on the right hand side, and some people think of this as, oh, this is gonna be my up-down movement, right? But I want you to see this is actually not the most helpful way to write it to make that up-down movement obvious. What's that A really changing? And the answer is, it's not changing X. That plus A, it really belongs over on the left-hand side as a minus A, right? What this shows you here, you see the, uh, the A is not attached to that X and it's not being squared or anything like that. This A really belongs on the left-hand side with the Y. This is a vertical change. And so you can see here, if I go over now, Let's come back to Desmos and I'm going to undo, go back to squared. There we go. Okay, what I've got over here, I'm now going to, I'll get rid of those brackets, I don't need them. I'm going to put this minus A on the left hand side where I'm suggesting that it belongs, okay, which I know some people would say that seems like a weird place to put it. But let's have a look here, right? Um, let's put that back to a value like this, okay. Yeah, my stubby figures. All right, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm satisfied. Now, what are we looking at here? Well, number one, I hope you can see the vertical change. Number two, I hope you can see we've moved upwards, right? Do you remember when we said X minus A moves you to the right? Even though it's a minus, it moves you in the positive direction. Well here, Y minus A, it's moving you vertically, but again, it's moving you in the positive direction. The blue graph is the new one, the red one, is the old one. So what's happening here, we've moved up A units um, in the positive direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw that, that parabola that I saw before. Um, it's no longer um, intersecting down there at the origin, it's going to be all the way up at A, which in the case that we just drew was 1.8, okay? Now in this case, just like in the very first parabola that I drew, this could be a bunch of different parabolas. Um, the scale is not apparent, so I need to choose some value uh, and I need to be able to put onto the graph and say, oh, that's where I am, that's where I'm locked into, this gives me a sense of the scale, okay? Now remember, what we're saying is, this is the same graph that we started with, this one right up here, y equals x squared, but we have moved upwards a units. So you know how I put this point here, two comma four. Well, if I supply the same x value, then the y value should be moved up a units. So if I put in two as an x value, I won't get four as a y value, I'll get four moved up a units, so four plus a. So what I can do is over here, I can say, well, that's gonna be my coordinate, two comma four plus a. And you can go ahead and verify this by putting in uh, let's find it right here. By putting in x equals 2, you're going to get 2 squared plus a. That's the 4 plus a that we saw earlier. So you can get your point for scale from the previous graph as long as you realize this is a movement upwards. Okay. Um, the same thing is going to happen here. I'm not even going to go to Desmos because I'm convinced I know what's going on here. I have an upward movement of a unit. So that same cubic shape that I saw earlier has been moved up a units like so. So this is going to be at A. Um, and if I go ahead to try and find my X intercept here, I'm going to let Y equals zero. So if I say Y equals zero, try and find an X intercept now, I get zero equals X cubed plus A. Hmm. X cubed will therefore equal negative A, subtracting A from both sides and moving things over onto the uh, other side. And so if I want to find just X, it's going to be the cube root of negative A, which happens to also be the same as the negative cube root of A. So this is going to be my new intercept. And whatever polynomial you're going to get, it's going to be that method of substituting Y equals zero to get my X intercept and substituting X equals zero to get my Y intercept. So let's go ahead and we will uh, mark that in. Okay, now this is now, you can see like why did I leave this one over here on the left hand side, right? Well if I had y equals x plus a, this is following the pattern that I've established over here on the right hand side. I'm suggesting that a more helpful way to think about this is to actually put that a over on the left hand side, right? y take away a equals x and what we should have is a vertical change. It's going to move up just like all the rest of them a unit. So let's try and um, thread the needle through there. There we go. This is going to be my intercept at A 
and then negative a down here in the bottom left. But hold on a second, isn't this the same as the graph we were looking at before, but moved the other way, right? Well, in the case of linear graphs, a move up or down actually is equivalent to a move left or right. You can actually see it here. You can imagine this as, oh, I, you know, if I didn't tell you what the equation was, you could have started from y equals x and slid this over to the left, yeah? Um, so that would be the first way of saying it. Look, it's x plus a, I've moved to the left a unit. Alternatively, I can think about it the way I've just explained. Oh, this is a graph that started with y equals x and then I moved upwards. So that would be a way of thinking it like this. The change is really affecting the y. Now it's important that I mention this only applies to linear functions. Every other one, like you can't say, oh, this, this parabola up here which moves to the right, it's kind of like a move upwards, it's a kind of equivalent. Well, well, it's not equivalent, is it? It's, it's left and right, and there's no way you can get to this graph down here by moving any amount left or right. So with parabolas, cubics, all the rest of the polynomials, left and right is different to up and down, right? But it's because here uh, on the left-hand side, if you look at the algebra, this a can move left or right and affect the x or y quite independently. So, I want to make one final comment before um, I talk any more about um, other transformations. We're going to look at another one shortly. Um, some of you have noticed, right, that when you're moving, uh, let's come back to here, when you're moving x minus a, you go the opposite direction to how you would think, right? That minus a moves you to the right, and when we're looking at vertical, that minus a moves you up, even though we usually think of minus as, as down, okay? So something that you might find helpful is that when I think about this, um, you might not think about moving the graph. Instead, and again, if this confuses you, leave it behind, but if it's useful to you, like it has been to me, then hopefully it will be um, something you remember. What I can really think about is a different perspective. When I see that minus a, I can think about this as not the graph, but actually the coordinate axes that are moving. Let me say that one more time. When I see this x minus a, instead of thinking about the graph moving left or right, what I can think about is the coordinate axes moving left or right. If you think, think about where the coordinate axes used to be, right, I'm going to put them into a different color like this. Actually, this gray will be better. The coordinate axes, right, used to be positioned so that the parabola had its vertex right at the origin. Okay, so in other words, putting it onto here, um, it used to look like this. This is where the coordinate axes used to be. Now you can see the x-axis hasn't really gone anywhere, but the y-axis has. The whole thing has been moved. Think about where I am now. Let me get rid of the x-axis because it hasn't changed. The whole thing has moved over to the left, right? The whole axes have moved over. Um, a units, in fact. And so when I see that minus a, I think, oh, that is in the minus direction, but it's not the graph that's changing. It's the axes. Um, you can think about this in exactly the same way for these guys, right? For the vertical change, when I see this y minus a over here, what I'm actually visualizing is everything on the coordinate axes moves a units downwards in the y direction, in the vertical, right? So you can see where the axes used to be. They used to be here, right, going through the origin. But the axes I've got right now, they've moved downwards a unit. So if this is a better conceptual framework for you to use to think about um, rather than getting things backwards and thinking oh minus in this context means plus in the other way um, then maybe that's something which uh, you will find useful and can hold on to. Okay? So this is translation. Let me remind you that what we're thinking about is a left right change if your translation is on the x and you've got an up down change if your translation is on the y. So look carefully at where the algebra is and that will tell you which direction the graph moves in.